Hello there. So, this video I'm going to explain how I put these Viking saddlebags on my Scout Bobber. Uh, these Viking saddlebags are meant for the Indian Scout, not the Bobber. So in order to do this, I had to do some modifications. Uh, so with these modifications um, are just basically some extra hardware I had to buy. Uh, the best saddlebags already came with these mounts. Came with four total. Uh, everything here just belongs to this saddlebag. All the other hardware is already on this as like a example. So it came with these mounting brackets. Uh, it came with uh, one set of screws and one set of bolts but I added some uh, more bolts and some wing nuts for added stability uh, to make it stronger and also the wing nuts are just way easier than trying to get a wrench in there and tighten everything down. I did that and also I had to get new bolts because the bolts that came with the bags were standard not metric. Uh, it's all about the thread. Um, I'll give you the size that I had to buy it is 8 millimeter by 1.25. That's the size that goes inside of the uh, the fender mounts on the frame, uh, on the, the rear of the scout. <clears throat> um, so to make this work, I had to buy these. Um, they're 90 millimeters. I think they're a little too long, I might have to shave them down a little bit, but I'd rather them be too long than too short, because the first bolts I bought were about a half inch shorter, and they weren't quite, uh, they, they weren't quite getting fully through the hole, so I had to get longer ones, because I want to make sure that they stay on the bike and not fall off, but anyways, um, the, the bags also came with, um, four of these, two on each side, but it wasn't enough, so I had to buy another set to add some more spacing. Um, the way I have all of the uh, hardware now fits. Um, but what I need to do is I need to go through, get new spacers. I, I want to get a full uh, spacer that's about an inch long. And then do some grinding on it. Make them flush. Uh, so the bags are actually like more correct looking because they look kind of funky on the bike right now because there's a lot of spacing But I'll show you when the bags are back on the bike uh, But in order for this to work the rear uh, Turn signals had to be changed so I took off the stock ones and I put on the rage cycle turn signals uh, If you guys are interested I'll have I'll probably make another video of uh, how to install those and what I think about them, all, 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 all that jazz. But anyways, um, I'll explain this in a second. But this is what I ended up using for a uh, license plate holder. Uh, it, it was from Amazon. Uh, it's meant for a trailer. Uh, it is LED lit. It's just two wires. Um, I need to buy the uh, quick connection that connects from the bike to this to light it up because um, the stock license plate holder will not fit with this bags where the bags sit uh, it, it just won't work you know so I had to buy this and right now I just have it screwed on flush because I like it to be like flat like that I don't want it to be at an angle if I have to move it I will I'll just put it up but I, I like it that it's just flat um, vertical with the deck um, but that, that, I still need to work on the wiring, the wiring, but it's, that's basically done though. Uh, last but not least, uh, is this guy right here. Uh, I got, I got a piece of foam. This is that like foam school board stuff that you get from like Dollar Tree. You could also use cardboard or any type of like tough paper or something like that. And I just, you know, made it the shape of the, the, uh, bag. I cut it out and then... 
This is the one that's more rough because this is one when I was like experimenting with where I want the holes and like where it's going to set and everything. And then I got a good one. I made the exact holes and then used that to put the holes exactly where I needed them. So clearly these are not the stock holes in the saddlebag. The stock holes are here and there's two here and two back here. Uh, the reason this is upside down and the reason this one is angled, um, it'll be a lot easier explanation once I uh, actually show it going on the bike. But uh, let's see if I remember which side is what here. Nope. Wrong side. So, no, was I right? I'm all backward. No, that was right. Jesus. So, this uh, is the part that goes on it. And of course, the bolt's going to fly off. But, <clears throat> because it's not a regular scout, so it's not parallel. So, with this, the angle is there and the holes are there. So, you have to match it up. So, in order to make this work, you have to re-drill so the main hole is going to be here and the main hole is up here because of the arch. Like I said, the regular scout is just, it's just parallel to where these holes and then these holes just match up to where it goes. That's why you need this template so you can figure out exactly where the holes need to go because you don't want to just start drilling hole, a shit ton of holes in these bags. It, it, you know, it, it, <laughs> it just looks like shit. Um, like I said, it... In these bags come only with uh, one screw hole here and then the the bolt hole. Obviously it would be here and here. But here I added another bolt hole. So these uh, are actually way more secure and they hold on a lot better because I, I'm... Yeah, I, the last thing I want to do is be riding down the highway and one of these things fall off. I, <laughs> especially that my license plate is on one of the bags um but uh, uh now i'm gonna attempt to show uh the process of me putting these things on the bike depending on how good or bad it is i might not even post it i might just show the after because i'm still learning how to do all this video crap anyways uh let, let's let's attempt that okay so they're on and i apologize now i did not make a successful video uh, putting them on. It would have been a blooper reel if I tried to post it because I kept getting really bad camera angles. You couldn't see it half the time because the lighting in my basement and I just kept getting in the way with my hands and shit. It just, it was bad. So at the end of this, if somebody really, really wants to see me do this, um, I will try again because I have to take these off regardless of for riding season because I have more adjustments to do. Just just let me know. But if no one wants to see it, then I won't waste my time. It's <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a trip. Um, but anyways, so this is going to be the setup for when I do my tours. I already have my windscreen and you know I have my highway bars. Uh, I will be using my Mustang seat. I want to do my tours because I already discussed that in my other video when I um, reviewed that two-up seat from Indian. Uh, I ordered that little foam seat, that suction cup seat, the pa the passenger suction cup seat, 20 bucks, and it'll just fit right inside my saddlebag. And if I want to give somebody a ride, it'll go right on the fender. And the, like I said, the two-up seat is going to be when it's just a bobber, no bags or anything, and I just want to go ripping up and down the street. Um, but anyways, so everything does work. Uh, I got the lights to work. This is the rear plate that I explained already. I wired it through. And, uh, let me bring the light so you can see. Um, it's coming out of a hole back there. Coming up into there. And you can see uh, a lot of the threads from the bolts that hold up, you know, the bags. Um, they're sticking out about a half inch through, which I'm fine with. Uh, I'm happy that they're too big so I can grind them down to be correct size. Because I'd rather them be that instead of too small and I have to do a lot of adjusting. But regardless, um, another thing I have to do is it's kind of hard to tell. 
but the front is wider than the back because they kind of taper in. Um, so I'm going to have to grind more off of these guys than the rear. That's going to be another project. I have to take measurements and, you know, make them fit better. Uh, but I'm going to try and get this a brief description of what I was trying to explain earlier with how to mount these because of the way <laughs> everything is designed with the bobber. So clearly when you mount these things, um, you have these two uh, brackets that hold, that's four bolts that hold on the fender. So what I have to do to make this work is I take this bracket and this bracket off. I hook these brackets with these bolts straight to the fender and the mounts. That's, so that's just the mounts hooked up to the fender and the mounts, that's it. Once those are there, kind of snug, not, not loose though, then these mounts are attached to the saddlebags. I hook up the saddlebag, I hold it up, and then I wiggle it around to get the bolt in there so I don't cross thread it. Be very careful because it's a lot more weight so it's harder to like feel it. But you get this bag in, now once that's done you match up the holes, then put this mount to the saddlebag, tighten it all down, that's good. And then this is the same, but you gotta make sure you have enough uh, leeway with your wires uh, so then, so that you can either plug them in or have enough that, because th I have one long ass wire and it's plugged in um, to the, the stock plug. So I had to leave enough give so I could mount it correctly. But again, you this is all together, you hook this up, and then you hook the mount to the bag. I, I hope that makes sense. That's the easiest way I could do it without taking, you know, showing it, but the video was horrible. Um, if somebody, honest to God, wants to see how I did this, let me know, and I will do my, take, uh, do my damnedest to make a correct video of a how-to. But if no one gives a shit, I'm not gonna waste my time. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Because I'm just not good at videoing, clearly. I don't even have a tripod. I'm holding it. It's probably shaking. You guys are probably going nuts. But regardless, um, lights work. I'll show you. Let's see. Ta-da. And you might be saying, well, you know, the, the lights are a little indented, which they, they are barely. But even at almost sideways angle, you can still see the lights. Um... I, I don't care for it, but I know it'll work. Um, oh yeah, and the passenger light does work. But what I plan on doing is, I've seen a lot of people do it already, is get those um, under the fender lights, the one that goes where the reflector is. I ordered one, I'm still waiting for it. And then I hope I'm able to wire it correctly because <laughs> I have a feeling that's gonna be a project in itself. But I plan on having a set of lights right underneath that fender. So that'll be a crap ton of lights. Unless someone knows a good mount that would come out and go past, but I don't think anybody makes anything like that yet. Unless I could like DIY something, but I'm not going that in depth. I really don't give a shit too much. Um, Cause when I do ride this thing, it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so I'm really not that worried. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it looks really good to me. I, I like it a lot. Um, I'm, I'm impressed with myself. I don't, I mean, I'm probably the first idiot to mount these Viking saddlebags on a bobber. They're not meant for a bobber. <laughs> They're meant for an actual scout because that's what they came off of. But I'm just that idiot that was like, Hey, let me, let me try it out. But I like it. Like I said, I, I do have adjustments to do because it looks kind of funky with all that space in between. Um, and when I do have the the other the two up seat, it kind of evens it out and covers up these stupid uh, bolts and like <laughs> all this nasty shit. Um, but yeah, I I actually like it. 
Um, it, they're not too crazy. They're not too giant. You you guys let me know um, what you guys think. Like I said, if somebody really wants to know how to mount these things, or at least how I mounted them, let me know, and then I'll do my damnedest. If not, laugh at me that I'm trying to make my bobber into a tour bike. Do what you will. This is going to be my only bike for a long time. Um, and, uh, and I think I, I don't remember if I explained this, but yeah, I, I will be using the Mustang seat with these. The two-up seat um, will be when I'm just bobbing around, not with the bags on. So, because that Mustang seat is touring, just you can ride on that thing all day. So, I, I hope that help. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, so, if you need a lot of storage, you know, and you want to use some Viking saddlebags, it's totally possible. All right. Uh, so, have a good night. All right. Last thing before I forget, um, the saddlebags. Even though they're kind of high and like forward, uh, I did a test when I had uh, the passenger seat on, the stock one and the syndicate seat on, and they're they're, they're both kind of high up. Um, I did a test, and it, with the position of these, they do not get in the way of the passenger at all. Um, the the you know you sit here and then the legs come out and then go straight to the pegs. The, these do not impede the passenger at all just wanted to uh note that so yeah there you go <laughs>